MajorFilmEvents.com. We are here at the TCI. Chinese Theater celebrating the Dances with Films 26th annual festival and I'm so excited to be here. There are so many talented people. I've met so many great people already so I cannot wait. Please stay tuned and keep watching. So go ahead and introduce yourself and let me know what film you're part of. Okay. I'm Wendy Peterson, producer of In Through the Outdoor, which is a um, pilot episode of a series. Very cool. I'm Dale Peterson. I'm the director and writer of In Through the Outdoor. Amazing. And for this film, without giving too much detail, what can you tell the audience about it? Well, I'll, I'll let well it's it, it's a series, and 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 this is this this is the first episode of the series, and so it's 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 soon to be announced where it's going to land, and 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 um, it, this it's it's a time travel series. Yes, it's it's time travel with murder too, and, and historical fiction. Yes. So, so you said it was to be told, so there's no way we can watch it yet, or no information. Yeah, but it, it it's soon going to end up on a on a platform. There is a strike going on, so but where we, there's something there's going to be announcement in the near future. Very exciting, very exciting. And what can you say was your experience being part of this film? The the what? Say it again. Oh, part of the series. Part of, what was your um, experience being part of this? Oh, it was just great. And 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 Martin Copping, our actor, who he he's it was great we had, working with great actors and it, it is it, and having a great casting director and and, and great cast. Awesome, awesome, yes. Um, well, we shot it at a very challenging time during the height of COVID, so um, that really elevated our cost, but we got through it. It was a two-week shoot. No one got sick. We were very careful, and um, yeah, so it was quite a feat to do that, and um, we were very fortunate that we had a really great casting director, Valerie McCaffrey, and she cast everyone perfectly, all the characters, and so, and we're just really pleased with the outcome, and we can't wait to show it uh, to everyone and share it with everyone. And we cannot wait to see it tonight, and we're so excited, of course. And where can we follow you guys on social media or platforms? Um, we, we do have a um, Magic TP Films on Instagram, and that's where we make all the announcements. It's Magic TP Films, and that, that that's on Instagram. Um, no, that's pretty much it for right now. Um, we we may start our own Instagram page, but for now it's uh, Magic TP Films. Perfect. And is there anything besides this wonderful series? Is there anything else you guys have that you're, we're excited for to do? We have a bunch of things. We have a, I, I have a I have a high school movie, kind of like a super bad, and I have I have a Christmas movie too, which a sci-fi Christmas movie. Oh, very. Interesting. Yes. Yeah. And then, right, and we also have a film that we made a few years ago that also premiered at Dances with Films um, called Hello, My Name is Frank. It was um, a multiple award winner from Amazon. We were one of the most downloaded films, indie films. Um, 2015, we were, we were one of the top films. So, and it's Hello, My Name is Frank, and that's probably the film I'm the most proud of. It, oh it's a beautiful film. Amazing. Thank you guys so much for being here. So what film are you part of tonight? I am part of In Through the Outdoor, playing the notorious H.H. H. Holmes, America's first serial killer. Cool. Not a very nice person, very but okay. You're a nice person, but I am. Yes, yes. Tuning into that darkness, but me, not not me personally. I'm not trying to go out killing people. So. And I heard that it was actually a series, correct? Correct. Right. So, very cool. So, how was your experience so far with the series and the cast and the crew and just everything overall? We had a blast doing it. Um, it was a lot of fun. You know, this period. So it's doing the you know, the 1800s, which is a trip. You know, life was very very different then, obviously. So yeah, it was a blast and a great cast, great group of people. Very cool. Is there anything that you're excited for particularly? Um, for the series coming up, like any other exciting things without giving too much details? Um, I think that the series has a lot of fun with a lot of time travel and stuff like that, so I think that's like a genre that I'm really into, so I would love to see more of that. Very interesting. And where can we follow up with you on any social media platform? Yeah, you can find me on Instagram. I am Jesse C. Boyd. Perfect. And we'll be sure to follow you. Everyone will be sure to follow you. It was such a nice pleasure meeting you. I can't wait to see your series. What role are you playing in this film? Slash series. I play uh, a an 
a guy who ends up getting sucked through a time travel hole and ending back in the 1800s and uh, yeah getting basically stalked by a serial killer and we have to find our way back to present day so yeah insane how was your experience so far dealing with all the series and all the cast and crew how was it so far your experience it was good you know they're they're a crazy bunch but um, no we had a lot we had a lot of fun on set and um, yeah our director Dale was great to work with really lovely guy and uh, you know he had a very clear vision with what he wanted to do so it made our jobs a lot easier (laughs) good good and what was one obstacle that you had to deal with with pursuing this character role Uh, I didn't really have too many challenges with it we did have obstacles it was shot sort of right in the middle of COVID Um, so yeah it was it was difficult doing rehearsals with other actors with a face mask on Um, kissing scenes with the plastic was a problem no they let us take them off but um, yeah it was more a logistical thing you know having to do COVID tests and um, keeping everyone safe but yeah character wise no it was you know good good easy breeze easy easy yeah and where can we follow you up on social media Uh, just uh, my name Martin Copping across all platforms I'm on there yep Instagram Twitter Twitch Facebook Kick yeah on everything yeah yeah thank you so much for having us what is your role and what part of the series or film are you in so I play a bellman for the hotel his name is George he's a he's a lazy guy you know someone who's maybe not that attentive um sleeps on the job (laughs) and what was the name of the series you're in in through the outdoor and what is your experience so far in the series Uh, so far it's been great I mean we filmed about a year ago and it's an amazing cast Um, just really really great the producers are amazing Dale's created an amazing script and he came to each one of us and yeah we're here and we're here tonight I love it I'm so excited and how do you feel tonight knowing that there are people here to celebrate the film and, and everything else how do you how does that make you feel I mean it's really exciting it's really exciting because I know how much work um, in front of the camera and behind the camera it takes. And so it, I know it takes an army. So I'm just really proud of everybody. And I'm glad to be here. We're happy that you're here. And where can we follow you on um, social media platforms? You can follow me at the Tony Robinette for, uh, for Instagram. Perfect. Thank you so much for being here. I play uh, Officer Al Pike, who's a very key person in the mystery. Very cool and how do you like dealing with this character was it a lot or was it easy to deal with your character no I, I, I related pretty well with him you know I um, he, he's, he's kind of a tough hard ass kind of a guy well, I'm, I, I have that kind of edge to me anyway because I'm from New York you know New York. New York guy you know you always have that edge um, but I, I think you know it was fairly um, a little easy crossover to it you know hey, but he, he, he I don't want to give away the film, but it's, it's a, he goes, nah. it, I, I, you have to watch it. You have to watch it. Okay. Thank you so much for uh, telling, well, you know, I appreciate it. And uh, what can you say, um, any, besides without giving any spoilers, can you give any like details that you are excited for the audience to see or? Yes. The, the, there's, a, uh, there's a twist that changes everything. And I think it really, it really, it's really catchy. And yeah, I think it's going to leave people on edge and wanting wanting more. So yeah, it really is. <laughs> they say the director, uh, the writer, director Dale Peterson is unbelievable. The guy is so talented. Between his his writing and, and his directing, oh my God, he's an actor's dream to work with. I, right. Let, yeah, 100%. And you know what that stands for? Together, everyone achieves more. Yes. You know how it is. <laughs> Where can we follow you on your platform? Um, you can follow me at uh, vstag45. Perfect. Uh, yeah. That's, that's, yeah, thank you. That's Instagram. Instagram. My Instagram, yeah. Thank you so much. It was such a pleasure meeting you. I'm part of In Through the Outdoor, and I play Henry the Construction Foreman. I provide a little comic relief and otherwise like an American Horror Story type tale uh, before everything goes down, and that's what I'm there for. Very, very 
cool. And what has your experience been dealing and being part of this film? Oh, it was awesome, man. The whole shoot, uh, everybody was cool. Everybody was cool. It was like a family. I love working with the lead actor over there, over there, and, and Dale and Wendy. They cast me in this thing, and you know, Wendy said she picked me out out of a hundred people. So uh, I, I was made for it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just happy to be here. Good. That's yeah. amazing. I'm so happy for you. You're very welcome. What is your one of your highlights being part of this film? Like a highlight that you just you cannot forget. A memorable moment. A memorable moment. So far. So far. Okay. Well, the part was originally for uh, to film for one day, and they shot me for two days because I was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They kept me on. They was like, we need you to come back and yeah, do a little something more. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. You're very welcome. And where can we follow you on your platform? Um, I'm Jay Christopher. Um, you can look at myself at jchristopher.com. I'm on IMDb. I've uh, done Conan for 12 years. So yeah, it's a lot of sketch comedy with me and Tom Hanks and a lot of people out there. So yeah, I'm out there. Just Google me. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it was a pleasure meeting you, love. Have a wonderful night, okay? Thank you so much, hon. Thank you. I'm the production designer of In Through the Outdoor. Perfect. And what are you most proud of with this film? Um, it was, uh, I think I'm just proud to be a part of such a, a unique vision because it's kind of an interesting twist on a historical um, time, but it's kind of got a, just a bit of a steampunk or, or older scientific look to it that was really fun to play around in. Yeah. And what got you interested in wanting to be part of this film? Um, my friend Dale, <laughs> the director. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, he just, he, um, he was aware of my work and he came by uh, our studio. I run Fonco Studios here in Los Angeles and um, I do production design among a lot of other things. Yeah, thank you. Yes, very busy. <laughs> I'm going for the hardest working man in show business. <laughs> Is that still a thing? <laughs> That's amazing. And um, what experience have you had so far with the cast and crew and overall? Oh, it's, it's actually been a while since we've shot, so this is kind of a bit of a reunion for us. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. It is, it is. It's really great to see everybody. And where can we follow you on any of your platforms? Oh, yeah, I'm Fawn H. Davis on um, every platform, Instagram, Twitter. I'm on TikTok, too. <laughs> yep. And I have all kinds. Of, I mean, if you follow me on social media, I have lots of stuff uh, with robots and miniatures and special effects. That's kind of what I specialize in, which is why I was a good fit for the movie, because it's kind of this fantasy. Yeah. Of course. Well, thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much for talking with us. Hey, guys. This is Lisa Supon again. We just wrapped. The films were amazing. The shorts were amazing. The people were amazing. And if you weren't here, you definitely missed out. So keep watching MajorFilmEvents.com because you never know where we may be next.